Well, hi there, everybody. Good morning. Meteorologist Travis Klineski here on this Friday morning where it is a sunny morning for the majority of us. There are some storms that have been fire refiring off towards eastern Nebraska this morning here about 630 this morning. We had some new showers and thunderstorms develop right in this area right here. And so they're ongoing, even though future cast isn't showing them. So it's a little bit of a surprise there. But again, uh, those areas that should clear out pretty quickly. We're going to enjoy plenty of sunshine for the day today here for most locations not a whole lot of wind as they kind of turn more easterly with time here now we're behind a cold front today but that said it's still going to be pretty warm out there for later on today heading into tonight most of us will see a quiet night northwest nebraska maybe a stray shower or a weak thunderstorm there but uh, again i think most of us are keep it will keep it quiet for tonight now looking at tomorrow look at the arrows that's one of the key things of tomorrow it's going to be hot hotter than today in fact but look at the arrows they're going to pick up speed tomorrow. It's going to get windy. South and southeast winds, we're talking about 20 to 30 mile per hour winds that could gust up near 40 miles per hour. So a very noticeable wind. Sometimes that provides relief on a hot day. If it gets too hot, sometimes that can feel more like a blow dryer than anything. We may experience that over the next couple of days. And then our focus uh, late in the day turns out towards the west. And I'll kind of circle the areas that would have a chance of uh, a rain and thunderstorms here in these locations here. Um, as we get to the evening hours and you can see the activity there one thing i'll also point out though is there is just the smallest of chances of rain farther to the east kind of in these locations right here a uh, few forecast models and it's really just one forecast model that comes out about every six hours it updates every six hours continues over the last two or three days now continues to insist on thunderstorms blowing up in the, that location i have circled right there but no other forecast model has it including this one so Right now, I, I'm going to go with a small, small chance of rain and thunderstorms for the forecast or for the tri cities, but more than likely, we will not see anything. Uh, but looking to the northwest, the chances are much greater up there. Those will then push off to the north and take us into a quiet day on Sunday with hot and even windier conditions expected on Sunday. So, how about tomorrow's severe weather threat? Because today, our severe weather threat is not there. There really isn't anything in play for today. But tomorrow, uh, again, we have that threat of severe thunderstorms. And again, even in the east, the Storm Prediction Center put out a marginal risk of severe storms from about the Tri Cities eastward. It's not a very good chance. There is about a 90% chance that these places will miss out on storms. But there's that small chance that maybe something fires up there. But the chances are greater as you go towards the northwest. Certainly up in western South Dakota where there's an enhanced risk of severe thunderstorms there. Um, could be some big time hail uh, up there as well. Some strong winds and some, a few tornadoes not out of the question. Uh, some of that might clip the far northwest part of the state. But then northwestern parts of the local fort viewing area will go with that. They have that slight risk of severe weather there for mainly wind and hail. Maybe an isolated tornado. But certainly I think the chances are much greater outside of uh, the local fort viewing area. Uh, otherwise, Sunday, the risk, it shifts off to our north, another enhanced risk up there in the uh, Dakotas again. But for us, pretty slim chance of severe weather for Sunday. So let's look at the highs for today, because really this is what's going to be the big focus over the next three or four days is the high temperatures today, mid 80s to mid 90s. And this is the coolest day for most of us of the next four days. Mid 80s to mid 90s, hotter the farther south that you go. Tonight, dropping back into the mid and upper 60s and lower 70s. And then as we get into tomorrow, we're talking about 90s. To near 100 degrees we're going to feel the heat tomorrow and again with that wind it's going to feel like a blow dryer for many of us uh, now some forecast models actually have some of the hotter temperatures um, over these areas right here and not so much in the south so there is a chance some of these places could make it to 100 degrees out there as well now as we get towards tomorrow night there's no relief saturday night it's going to be hot as well or warm at least with 70s for overnight lows and that's by Sunday morning so most of the night's going to be much warmer than that so it's going to much of the night will be spent in the 80s so it's going to be a very warm night ahead of us for Saturday night Sunday we're talking about temperatures back to the 90s to near 100 degrees out there let's look at that long range forecast again we've kind of summed up these three days again it goes from a little hot today to very hot and windy over the weekend and into early next week I did keep that 10 percent chance of a rain thunderstorm uh, chance in the forecast for Saturday night but it's not a very good chance the next better chance will come in Monday into Tuesday here. So Monday is going to be another hot and windy day and pretty quiet for most of the day. But somewhere west of the Tri-Cities, a cold front is going to be slowly approaching and storms could fire up late in the afternoon or into the evening hours and then start to push eastward. I went with a small chance of storms Monday evening and a little bit better chance after midnight Monday night 
possibly continuing into the daytime Tuesday, although the bulk of that activity will start to push to the east during the day Tuesday, so less of a chance by the afternoon, and then I think completely clearing out by Tuesday evening. We'll be much cooler on Tuesday, about 20 degrees cooler. That's going to feel like some good relief after the heat that we have on Monday and, and prior to that. After that, things become a little more questionable now. It does look like we will be dry for Wednesday and Thursday with lots of sunshine, but how warm or cool are we going to be? Forecast models are all over the place right now. Some have us staying in the 70s, other have us, others have us back in the 90s. I'm going to go with seasonable highs in the lower 80s for now. We'll get that figured out as we get a little bit closer to that time frame here because there's just too much uncertainty right now to give you a very confident forecast for both Wednesday and Thursday. So there's no use going uh, beyond Thursday and showing you the long extended forecast for high temperatures because I, I can't even... You know, it's, I'm still not even certain about that, days six and seven there, so let alone days eight, nine, and ten. So, with that, uh, gonna let you all go. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Stay cool, stay hydrated, stay safe out there this weekend, and we will talk to you all again on Monday. God bless everybody.